guys welcome back to my channel i know i look a mess um it's been a super super long day i had lecture i had an exam lecture we went to lunch then came back did another lecture and then we had lab so i didn't get out of class until i think it was like 3 36 when i walked out and i had to be there at uh, 8 45 and i live an hour away so I got to get up at like six o'clock in the morning to be able to get to clinical. I mean, not clinical, excuse me. I start clinical this week, so it's on my mind um, to be able to start class and and stuff like that. So I got to leave an hour early, and then I need an hour to get ready. So um, any day that I have class and lab, because I have class and lab on the same day, and then I have clinical. I am up pretty early in the morning, and it. It takes a toll on your girl. This is my little name badge on my little thing. Uh, I'm not going to show my uh, school, whatever. It says, nurse in progress, loading, please wait. It's a little bit dazzled. I got on my official nursing school scrubs, my Apple Watch, for when I'm taking vitals. Um, but, so today what we're doing is... We're going over the bag that we got for lab. So this bag has a bunch of, um, what do you call it? A bunch of like a uh, nursing equipment, I guess, that you would use to, you know, for like dressing changes, uh, a central line dressing change, a catheter, a IV start kit, um, just all kinds of stuff like that. Stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, all that kind of jazz so today we're going over what's in my lab bag i guess i can take that off i just wanted it to be on so i looked official in the video because i literally just got home 20 minutes ago so i wanted it to be like in my scrubs and it'd be the end of the day and it'd just be like a really raw real video so as you see hair's a mess no makeup i've been busy all day i took an exam woke up early in the morning i studied until like 11 o'clock last night um so yeah I've been really busy but anyway so this video is about my lab bag so we're gonna just go ahead and jump into it so um this is my stethoscope I got the cardiology I think it's four um this is it and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that um oh I can get it out okay but this is my stethoscope it's got some bling on it I got it engraved so it has my name on it this was my own personal purchase my school obviously didn't give me this it's like a $250 set scope so um, that was I think a, a birthday present for me I don't know something like that my husband bought it for me and then this is the set scope that comes with my lab bag my school provided this one for us um, it's a Littman so it is a good quality stethoscope um, it just says Littman it doesn't say like classic or anything like that so it's just like a Littman um, pretty basic stethoscope um, it's obviously not for pediatric and adult it's just got one little uh, bell on it but this is what it looks like so this is whoo, sorry my scrubs are a little baggy so this is probably what I'll be taking to clinical with me just because we're starting off in a rehab facility that's also assisted living and I know a lot of the patients there have like C. diff and stuff like that. So I'm not going to bring my nice expensive, expensive stethoscope and not just that. I heard that they like to walk away from that clinical facility and that stethoscope was way too expensive for it to go walking away. So this will be the one that I take to clinical while we're at this facility. Anyways, moving along. So I got like tegaderms. I think this is for IVs for to like strap IVs down and then you got like it's all this stuff from pocket nurse the whole bag came filled with stuff so this is a central line change tray with transparent dressing so I guess this is the change of dressing on the central line um, I'm just gonna like throw stuff around as I go through it these are gloves we were pra practicing putting on and taking off gloves obviously that's relatively simple but they had us do that in lab um, and then this is like a bag of stuff so I'm gonna open it up and see 
So there's like a stomach tube, um, cotton tip applicators, um, an IV start kit, uh, the IV lines that, you know, that would hang from like a fluid bag that you hang or something like that. There's two of them. And then like a pain scale, you know. This is pretty cool. I haven't really looked at it. So the PQRST complex has that on it. Um, just stuff like that. And then like uh, more cotton tipped applicator. So like a Q-tip basically is essentially what it is. And then also a suction catheter kit stomach tube. I don't really know what all this stuff is for yet. Obviously we will learn as it progresses through the program. So that's just a bag of like a bunch of different stuff um, that I don't really know what it's for. But I'm excited to learn what it's for. Okay. And then we got this bag that has like alcohol prep pads, a uh, ace bandage, um, gauze, thermometer, a culture swab, I'm assuming for like a throat culture or a vaginal culture or something like that. Then we have trauma shears. So that's just all the stuff here. I already bought myself trauma shears that are like black and pretty cool looking. So I'll probably use those. Um, and then we have an irrigation tray with bulb syringe, I guess in case you need to irrigate a wound or someone's ear. I don't know. And then we got a uh, tracheotomy care kit. So I guess this is trach care. Um, it's got a bunch of stuff. And I guess this is what we would use to clean a trach. Um, and then we also have dressing tray with instruments. I don't know what this is for. This is dressing tray, so I'm guessing it's a dressing, a wound dressing or something, but I think there's one in here for a wound dressing, so I don't really know. And then we have a gate belt, obviously for transferring and lifting patients. Um, we're starting in a rehab and assisted living facility, so I'm sure I'll probably become quite familiar with using these. We use, we practice in lab, but I'm sure in the next few weeks this will become my best friend. Um, and then we have a Foley catheter kit. So this is our for our Foley catheter. Um, we actually have a skills check off for a Foley catheter coming in like four weeks. So I need to start practicing with the Foley catheter. And then we also have a blood pressure cuff, spigomometer, or whatever the hell it's called. I got a, uh, what's it called? I'm not gonna be able to remember what this is called right now for some reason. Um, probably because I haven't really started doing IV, so I haven't really, a tourniquet, ah, that's what it's called, I haven't really needed a tourniquet, and then I got like a multiple packs of sterile gloves, because we're also, this is a skills check off that we have to do, which is coming up like, I think in like a week or two, so I've been, these are open already, I've been practicing with these, and I have another non-open, uh, sterile gloves to practice sterile gloving, and then we have our personal protective equipment, now this is all simulation stuff this is not like like I'm not gonna go perform any of these procedures with this stuff none of it is sterile all of it says simulation use only non sterile so none of this can be used um, to actually perform anything but it has like the little booties and the surgical mask the gloves the gown um, the hair net all that stuff so yeah but that is the bottom so they don't put that much stuff in there um, but decent amount of stuff. I got a few other things that were my own personal purchase. I got this clipboard. I think it was from White Coat or something. It's a clipboard and then on the back it has like nursing notes and stuff like that. I went ahead and purchased this. These are all my clinical papers because I have clinical on Thursday. Today's Monday. So I just have all my clinical papers for like what assignment I'll be doing that day. Um, what I need to know. Um, my check off thing so I'll just have all that and so I can keep this with me at clinical and then I also have two I have a mini notebook which is like a little notebook oh, a little notebook I paid like a dollar fifty for it at office depot and then I also excuse me and then I also got a little 
planner. It's so cute. A little planner. Ooh. From the day designer. I think I got this on Office Depot too. I think it was only like six bucks. But it's just like a mini pocket planner. So that way like I can just like have it in my scrub pocket. So if they're like, oh, you have to do this, this, and this by this day. Or this assignment's due or whatever. I can just boop, pop it in my planner. And then put it over to my big planner once I get home. So, yeah. But that's everything in um, my lab bag. It's not much, but it's pretty interesting stuff. I'm excited to start using it. Um, I'm going to lab again tomorrow. We're having an extra lab day this week. Usually we do class, lecture, and lab on Monday. But because we start clinical this week, they're having us come Tuesday um, for, uh, what you call it, to for an extra day of lab just to go over like um, transferring, bed baths, feeding, um, just all basic care that's probably usually performed by like a CNA or something like that. Um, I think that's kind of where we're starting. So yeah, so we'll just be performing like uh, just kind of like basic stuff that people need. This, this hot mess I got going on. But I am about to take off these scrubs, go for a bike ride. Because I just, I feel like I just, I need a bike ride. So I'm going to go for a bike ride, then I'm going to come home, I'm going to take a shower, maybe make myself something to eat, and then I'll either try to read my chapters for this week, because I haven't read them yet, um, or go to sleep. I usually don't do anything on Mondays because by the time I get home from lecture and lab, I'm just fried. I feel pretty fried right now. But I think that what I need to do is go for a bike ride and keep it pushing because since I've enrolled in college, I have gained a little bit of weight. Um, my blood pressure has, you know, gotten a little high and stuff like that. So I'm trying to inco oh, what is it called? Uh, incorporate some kind of aerobic exercises into at least a few days a week, into my you know, weekly routine to try and help lose weight and feel better and stress and stuff like that. Because boy, let me tell you, nursing school is stressful honey so stressful i have an exam every monday and it is just like killing me you literally do not have two seconds to breathe like you don't have any time there's so many assignments they're about to throw clinical into the mix i mean it is just like it is literally madness um there's another video going up before this one i was having a really bad day i failed one of my exams I didn't like fail it bad, but in nursing school you have to get like a 77 to be considered passing. So I have a video going up before this one where I was just having a bad day. But not all these are bad days. Like today I had a great day. We went to the school and we learned how to do vital signs. So like uh, blood pressure, respirations, pulse, um, O2 saturation, um, like all that kind of stuff. So today was actually a really fun day. I really enjoyed it. I am beat because like I said I was up until 11 o'clock studying and then woke up at 6 o'clock this morning and then had a very full day and plus I had to pick my car up from the mechanic and it was it just been a really eventful day but so yeah that is what is in my lab bag and I will see you guys if you guys enjoyed this video I can't wait to make more videos like this for you I'll have an update coming soon on how the exams are going, the class is going, and all that kind of stuff. But for now, this is it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is me in my lab bag, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!